target. Given the degree, the zeros, and a point on the graph of a polynomial function, write the function in symbolic form. Here we're asked to find a polynomial p that has degree 3, such that negative 2, negative 1, and 4 are all zeros of p, and p of 1 equals 2. Well, let's first take care of the zeros. In order for p to equal 0, that means I'm going to have a 0 value. That means that part of the polynomial has to have these guys right here to equal out to the zeros. And the only way we can do that is by substituting x plus 2 quantity, x plus 1 quantity, times x minus 4 quantity. Because now when I distribute this out, when I substitute a 2 into this equation, a negative 2 into this equation, it's going to wipe out everything else. It's going to be 0. Now, I also always have a constant out in front. I always have a constant out in front, so I need to compensate for that. So that's my first step. I found the zeros. Now the trick is to find out what this constant value may be. Well, the way we do that, well, first of all, degree 3. i got to first double-check that I have degree 3. Well, here I have degree 1, degree 1, degree 1. And all together, they're gonna get, when I multiply them out, they're going to give me a degree of 3. So I end up with a third degree polynomial after it's all said and done. That's why I know I only have a constant out here. I don't have an x value out there. So now I need to find out what this constant value is. And the way I do that is I simply plug in the value I have. I know that p of 1 is given to me equals 2. Well, that means if I substitute this, input this value of 1 into the equation wherever I see an x, I can find out what my value of c equals and set it equal to 0 and solve. And the way I do that makes it look like this. So that gives me this value right here, where p1 equals c, and I substitute 1 plus 2, 1 quantity, 1 plus 1, quantity 1 minus 4. When I equate that out, I end up with a negative 18c, after distributing that through. Now, but the, we know what the value of p1 equals. We're saying that it's given to us that p1 equals 2. So what I have to do now is I take that, two, that value of 2 and set it equal to negative 18c, because they are e the same. And solving for c, obviously, in this case, I get a negative one ninth equals c. So my constant value is c. So my final answer looks like this. Substituting the value of c back in, I get a final answer of p of x equals negative one ninth, which is my constant, times quantity x plus two, quantity x plus one, times quantity x minus four.